Okay, hello. We uh, have um, survived another uh, rock con game convention in Illinois. Um, and uh, we have got some great feedback. And um, even though, as you may or may not know, we've simplified the game system as much as possible, uh, it is always good to hear whatever kind of criticism, uh, critical thinking, we like to say, not criticism, because uh, that kind of sounds negative, but critical thinking. In other words, it's cool, it's bad, it's good, uh, fix this, fix that, and get rid of this, uh, and, and then the reasons why. Uh, so... A lot of comments came in about our simplified card and the results were make it even simpler. <laughs> um, so uh, we basically, although we were trying to maintain the classic look of the Battletech hit locations, uh, the players basically unanimously said there's no point in hit locations. We don't care about hit locations anymore. I mean, that is to say, when you hit a target, where in the target do you hit? Um, we have the three categories of movement, defense or armor, and combat. And that worked very well. And um, when a uh, combat hit is uh, sustained, it simply means that one of the weapons cannot be used the next time the mech fires. And that's all there is to it. So... What we're looking at here is a um, reconfigured uh, Mex Command Nova uh, Battletech or Battle Mech uh, card layout. This is four by six. And again, you see that it's got the three tabs at the top for the name, which when you print this out, you cut the ones you don't need out. And then you can put it in a sleeve. And when we say sleeve, this is what we mean. It's basically a plastic sleeve for an index card. It's flexible, it's not rigid, and that's all it's needed. You can use dry erase, I'm sorry, wet erase. You don't want to use dry erase markers on it. Um, and um, the back has been redesigned as well, as well as the front. And that's what we're looking at right here. Now, having done this, um, I also took the opportunity to integrate, fix up, and uh, use the Legion's database. Now, the Legion's database is essentially a list of, excuse me, a list of equipment uh, uh, grouped in a, a single card. So, in other words, there could be 12 uh, mechs, infantry, uh, ground vehicles, whatever 12 things the player wants. And of course, if he wants more, then you just make another card. And what we're looking at here is one of the cards that's referenced from a um, Legion's database uh, uh, location in our uh, star map campaign. And it's called, well, it's Brimstone. So, um, I will scroll down before I leave this so I can show you. This is the back side. And I just blanked out those other fields because they're not needed. As well as the cost. I'll blank that out. And the leader or I should say the banner, obviously, is Cobra. Uh, and this is Carter Prax. His numbers are 1, 1, I'm sorry, 1, uh, one 2, 6, 6, 6. Those are his CVS values for Carter Prax, the character. And I have to remember, submit this to the database before I leave this page. But as you can see, we've already installed in this area right here the hyperlink to the Brimstone Legions page. And uh, it basically, it's like a scenario uh, index card. And I'll show it to you once I do this. So let's uh, submit this. 
and then I'm going to scroll down to the item again, which is the uh, champion mech. And you can see that here, as we have implemented the image of the person, the leader, uh, then that shows up on the index list for the uh, mechs and the vehicles. Uh, so we'll click on there again, and you can see that uh, this brimstone link is right here. I think this, does it replace? No, it adds, okay. So it, it creates the tab for brimstone. Sorry about the pop-ups, but that's kind of needed what we're doing right now. I'm a little campaign for surveying what the next game is we should run, and we're going to be running at Adepticon. So when you go to the website, please uh, give us you know your ideas of what we should run. Um, so what we're looking at here now is the legions database. Now granted, uh, in the scenarios database, there may be some duplicity, right? But uh, this is kind of like an interesting version of a scenarios document uh, because what it, or an order of battle is what it is really. It's like, it's really order of battle uh, database. Um, it's got our uh, champion mech listed as well as a marauder and our and a Jenner. And so these are the three mechs so far that are in the location of A5 on the map. And their activation sequence is one and their group is one. So this is the first group with an activation sequence of one. They're the first one that's going to go. And uh, their location is A5 on the map. Uh, what does all that mean? Well, A5 is arbitrary. It's just a number so we can show you what, how this works. Uh, the actual number on the hexagon grid map may be different, but right now we're using the traditional cross the top A to Z, left uh, column uh, 1 through 14. Um, and so uh, this actually should be card 1. We'll say card 1 of 2 here so that we know there may be another card. And let's do Carter Prax's numbers again right here um, so that we kind of remember and have multiple references to his capabilities. Uh, so here we go. And and all the, uh, the mechs have their links right here added in, the hyperlink, the URL for that mech. In other words, the Jenner J7, uh, JR71 um, has its own web page uh, as part of the works, how the database works. And what we've got here is a little button so you can click this button and go to that hyperlink. And inside that, uh, that file uh, online, you can then link back to this. So it's kind of cool. And although it just occurred to me now that the... Um, no, that's, that's it. Sorry, I was thinking there was a, a hyperlink that was missing, but no, there isn't. All right, so let, let's do that. Let me submit this so I don't uh, forget what I changed. Well, before I do that, let me scroll down. Here we see the Excalibur original game uh, of the Brimstone card. And uh, here we see to our left an actual photo of a portion of the game table that we were going to run at, at RockCon ended up not doing this map. So, but this was the original map we sketched out. Didn't run it, but we still have the map. And what I've done here is I've made a small um, acetate overlay that shows a four by three table layout. And where is that? Here's the acetate. So it's just an acetate that I'm gonna put over the hexagon grid map and then take a picture. In other words, you draw the map on the hexagon grid. And then if you wanna, it's gonna be like eight by five so it's huge. Uh, uh, so it, it comes out to be like 22 inches or something when it's, you know, operational on, on an on a overlay or something on a, on a poster. Anyway, it's about, it's big. It's a big piece of paper, but it represents the eight by, um, eight by five foot table layout. Anyway, this little guy is representative of a four by three table layout. So even though I've got this eight by five map, a representative map, I can use this and capture any image I want, as long as the orientation of the hex is correct, uh, when I put it on there. And then I just put this on, take a picture, and then sent it to the website, and then I up, or I sent it to my desktop computer, and then I uploaded it here. That's what you're looking at. 
Um, so uh, that's it. And let me, like I said, submit this. We'll come back to brimstone. Easy way to find brim. Any, easy way to find where you are is just scroll down looking for that person's picture, and it's Carter Brax. And sure, there it is, brimstone. Um, let's go back there because it may not have been uh, too clear. So this is the uh, Legion's Index, if you will. It's a place to create a card that is encompassing uh, for a scenario. And it's um, in this particular case, each one of these records is, um, is created. And in this case, we're using, again, the, the uh, Excalibur map uh, 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 properties, um, the locations on the star map. Um, and so when we go here, we can jump back and forth by clicking these buttons to go to the uh, items that are in uh, this group, are on uh, this battle, uh, uh, Brimstone. It's actually, I think, Brimstone 1 or Brimstone 2 or something, anyway. So then we can flip back and forth. And it's just a very convenient way, sorry again, uh, it's a very convenient way of, of, of being able to have access to all these different things that are in the in the unit, in the force. All right, so that that's that, and I will uh, come back with other uh, intriguing ideas as we uh, move forward. And now we are getting ready for uh, Little Wars and Adepticon. <laughs>